Okay, everyone, sorry about that. It's just YouTube's 10 minute upload rule, so yeah, this is why I have why I had to break it up. Sorry about that. That's the story. Reed comments that he rebuilt. Reed, t we take re we see Reed at where he rebuilt his device known as the bridge that allows him to review to reveal all the different possibilities and outcomes of time of a choice we make in the present. And all of a sudden, three figures come out, and there are alternate versions of Reed where one has apparently invisible powers, Johnny's torch powers, and and the Reed in the power suit just says that he's just a man. Anyways, they take Reed to a huge council of alternate Reed Richardses from different Earths. We see a lot. Um, we see one that looks like the Brute and Nova. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then Reed wants to know who built this place. And then, and then there's three more alternate Reeds. One in a suit, one in a different uniform, one in uh, looks like a Norse god thing with a beard. That they say, with all the infinity gauntlets that say it's time Reed reached his full potential. Alright, Fantastic Four 570 was pretty great. It seems to be a great jumping off point. Um, I like Fantastic Four. I mean, I think now I kind of need, I kind of wanted to get another Marvel title, and I thought, you know, Fantastic Four. I mean, Rounder Spider Man, I thought, you know, Fantastic Four is a good comic. It was the, it was Marvel's first Silver Age. Comic, so yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna start just getting Fantastic Four from now on, so be expected of that. Uh, okay, again, Batman versus Fantastic Four. Um, they're both pretty equal. They both have great artwork, great stories that make me want to see what happens in the next issue. So yeah. Okay. Um, until. So until next week, or until I get something you want to review, this is Spider-Man 1991 saying, see you later.